What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Observant Lineman. And as I said earlier, didn't make sense why they had, why the NFL scheduled a workout for Colin Kaepernick on a Saturday, didn't alert any team executives until Tuesday. And now we're in a situation where this has clearly uh, shown itself to be nothing more than a publicity stunt for the NFL a publicity stunt that allows them the leeway of saying that we gave him a shot, knowing damn well that nobody, no team is gonna send anybody to a workout knowing that they have a game the very next day. No executive is going to be able to split up their time and come see Colin Kaepernick workout in Atlanta on a Saturday uh, morning, afternoon, whatever, knowing that there's a game on Sunday to be played for most every team across the NFL. It just doesn't make sense that the NFL would do this. And as we can see here with Adam Scheffner reporting on Twitter, he says several executives with teams have reached out as a courtesy to Colin Kaepernick's representatives saying they couldn't attend Saturday's workout and were confused by the purpose of the NFL scheduling this workout. And of course they would be confused because it doesn't make any sense. Why would you schedule a workout for a player, the NFL, which generally the NFL doesn't schedule a workout. It's the teams that reach out to schedule the workout. Even if the NFL wanted to schedule or set up a date for a workout to occur, you want to give the teams enough time to be able to respond and react to that uh, scheduled workout. And in this situation, again, it just shows that the NFL is willing to do whatever it can to make themselves look good, but it doesn't really give any, any indication that they care about the well-being or about the opportunity for Colin Kaepernick to return to the NFL. It's ridiculous. Uh, and again, when you have the teams themselves, when you have the executives from the teams saying that this was a confusing move that didn't make much sense to them, and at the end of the day, they are now in a situation where they can't come to this workout. You can't be surprised by that because this is just another one of those awkward tactics that the NFL uses to try and put itself in the best light uh, instead of uh, putting itself in a situation to receive backlash or to receive any kind of critical uh, assessments from people who are actually paying attention to what they're doing. But you look here at some of the responses and is anyone else surprised with these kind of responses that we have here? It says, well, what do you know? Uh, we got one up here saying, uh, it's been three years. How long till someone gets over a bad breakup? Uh, you see here, there are people who obviously are gonna you know, put this in the racist category. That's nothing new when you're talking about social media, but uh, everything Nick's here says, uh, NFL purposely scheduled it on a Saturday, knowing damn well that that's a day where teams are getting ready for Sunday. PR stunt to make it seem like they give a F about cap. And again, like I just said, this is a situation where the NFL has completely missed the mark. It didn't make sense and it seemed odd at the beginning, but I was under the assumption, at least in my mind in my previous video, that... Uh, maybe the NFL was had already reached out to teams in weeks prior and they've have someone that they've designated to show up at the workout. But of course, that is not the case. Teams found out on Tuesday, which meant that nobody has time to, to be to be able to schedule anyone to be there. And besides that, it's a Saturday. Nobody's coming in on a Saturday when you have a game on Sunday. Game planning has been going on all week. And these are putting these are the moments where you put the final touches on on the game plan. These are the moments where you review things in the hotel the night before the game with your team and you go over the, the strategies for the game and the tempos that you wanna set for the game. And it's just not something that would be conducive with going to see a free agent player, regardless of who it is, work out for an NFL team. Uh, but just continuing on, I thought, I mean, this is funny, of course, just because it's Antonio Clown. We all know how everybody, uh, uh, how everybody feels about him. Uh, we have somebody here saying with the SpongeBob uh, SquarePants, hooray for lying. And of course, I think maybe this sums it up the best. Mob bosses laughing in your face because you took the cheese and now they can ride off scot-free and say that they have fulfilled their minimum requirements in order to uh, get 
in order to place themselves in a position of 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 proactive uh, behavior and and of course we all know that's just utter nonsense but tell me what you guys think leave comments below hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell to make sure that you're alerted each and every time i drop a video i'm your reserve lineman uche wanary and i will catch you guys on the next video peace